Hello again. I tend not to criticise or indeed say anything much about the political leaders of other nations because our own leaders here in Britain are so ghastly that it seems unnecessary to look abroad for people to mock and deride. However, with the rise of China, the war in the Ukraine and Gaza and also the possibility of a wider war in the Middle East, it seems reasonable to ask how likely it is that the President of America will be able to cope with the desperately dangerous situation the world is now facing. Unfortunately, the answer seems to be that he's not coping at all well. The media in Europe and the United States seem to be playing down the increasingly obvious fact that Joe Biden is a doddery old man, he looks as though he is confused and has no idea where he is or what he's supposed to be doing. Unless he's acting the part of an old person with the first stages of Alzheimer's, and I cannot for the life of me imagine why he would want to do such a thing, then I'm very much inclined to think that this is what he actually is, which is a terrifying thought. A recent example of his mental state should be enough to make the point. His grasp of geography has seemed a little shaky lately. For instance, he muddles up Mexico with Egypt. But yesterday was one of the clearest signs that he is failing. In the description to this video, I give a link to a clip of Phil when he is talking about the situation in the Middle East, which is, of course, on a knife edge and could turn into a major war at any moment. He says, and I made it clear to Israelis, don't move on Haifa. It's just not, I mean, anyway, I, I just, look what we did recently when Israel was attacked. Haifa is of course an Israeli city, and I'm assuming it's getting it mixed up with Rafa, possibly. But the whole sentence tails off incoherently and one has the impression that he honestly does not know what he's trying to say, or what he is supposed to say. Of course, this would be fine if he were just some random old guy talking to his wife while waiting in line at the supermarket, but he's not. He is the leader of the free world, setting out a vital policy statement, and he simply doesn't know what he's saying. I give to a link to a clip where he talks about Putin invading Russia. The truth is, he's simply an old man. He will be 82 this year. He cannot keep track of current events and doesn't really know what's going on. I mean, I'm also an old man, but if ever I start rambling like that, I hope that somebody will notice and perhaps tell me to pull myself together. The newspapers and television news here in Britain do not talk about the fact that here is a man who is obviously uh, not up to par mentally. But in Australia, Sky News often draws attention to the fact in no uncertain terms. It reminds me in a way of long ago when Franklin Roosevelt was president. He was crippled by polio, of course, but the general public wasn't aware of the fact because all the newspapers conspired not to reveal it to the world. That might perhaps have been the way the media conducted themselves in the 1930s, but it really isn't good enough today. Here is a president of the United States whose mind is clearly slipping so that he is unable to grasp what he's talking about, and not one person is apparently willing to speak out and say what's going on. I mention this because just at the moment, with the state of the world being as it is, it is particularly important to have a president who is really on the ball. And yet, if you had Joe Biden removed on the grounds that he's Gaga, and you'd end up with Kamala Harris. How on earth did the greatest nation on earth get into this terrible situation? And we think we have problems with Rishi Sunak.